incredibly light. I started out in the brothels of New Orleans. There I learned to caress each note and kiss each key. They were making love upstairs and didn't want a lot of noise disturbing. They wanted music that slithered behind the curtains and slipped under the beds. I made that music, and in that I truly was the best. Someone somewhere someday told me about Novacento. She is the greatest, the greatest pianist in the world. It might seem ridiculous, but it was a thing that could happen. Novacento has never played a single note outside the Virginian, and yet she's a famous character in her land. <laughs> famous character? More like a small legend. Those who get off this ship speak of strange tales and a lady pianist who plays so many notes it seems as though she has four hands. All different types of stories tend to circulate. And some of them are true. I know that for a fact. Like the one about Senator Wilson, who made the whole voyage in third class. Because it was there that Novacento didn't play the normal notes. She played her own notes, which weren't normal. She had a piano there, and she went in the afternoons or late at night. First, she listened. She wanted people to sing the songs they knew. Every so often, someone, someone would bring a guitar or a harmonica or something and begin to play songs that no one knows where it came from. <laughs> she wants with the piano. When she feels like playing jazz, she plays jazz. When she feels like playing something else, she plays something that's like 10 jazzes put together. Well, I say, how can someone who doesn't even have the balls to get off a freaking ship be good at playing any sort of music? <laughs> <laughs> because it's that lashless aside to disembark, you'd go back to playing in the brothels, as God is my witness, in the brothels. <laughs> Where is this prick of a ship? <laughs> <laughs> 